I just want you to know that's my joint. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good, good. <laughs> so now, if you are not familiar with this artist, I want to be the first to introduce you to him. And uh, I'm going to let you go ahead and do it yourself, uh, great sir. So why don't you tell us who Eli Liberty is? All right. Well, what's up, everybody? My name is Eli Liberty. I am a rhythm and pop artist from Chicago, Illinois, but I currently live in Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome. We Thank full. You. Tell everybody else don't come. We full. We f- <laughs> I know you got the memo. Tell them we full. Yeah, it is pretty full here. Yeah, Ferrillo Star here. was here last week and he said he's coming. I said, Ferrillo. Yeah, I was talking to him. I was like, what? You're moving here? You like- ain't get the memo. We full. <laughs> we is full. Cut it out. Stop it. You all know. You all know. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> now you uh, have a little bit of a different background because while you're in hip hop, you have a, a mixture of backgrounds in, in your uh, bloodline. So tell us mm. a little bit about that and how that plays into the artistry that you bring so yeah so i am but well cuban japanese but so yeah uh come from so you can you can make uh you can (laughs) i ain't gonna do none of i was gonna do so many (laughs) racial jokes on top of that i was about (laughs) about so you can make some cubanese collard greens (laughs) (laughs) i don't know where that came from I mean, technically, technically, I do love collard greens. Okay, and I am Cubanese. Okay, so. okay. All right, we, we we have to. That's that's gonna be a thing, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna be a thing. That's gonna be a thing. That's gonna be a oh thing. My God. So, how does that play into your artistry coming? You know, from those back different backgrounds. Um, it's something I've been experimenting with a lot more lately. Uh, it's not something that was really heavily talked about in my family. It was kind of like my grandma told me, and then it was kind of like. We just left it there. And then my dad used to always talk about it, but he didn't, like, know Spanish or, like, anything like that. Um, His dad was fluent in it from what he mm-hmm. told me, but he didn't teach him that because he just wanted him to have an easier life here. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So it wasn't something that we really, like, talked about. And it's probably just because of, like, a generational generational thing. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah it's something I'm putting into my music a lot more or I'm experimenting with now for future projects that okay i've really been experimenting with yet okay well that, that's that's cool that's cool I, i'm yeah. looking forward to it now you have been working singles for a good while mm-hmm. you've had lucky we've had drippy we've had some other singles along the way mm-hmm. now you've got the newest single we'll talk about that a little bit mm-hmm. when is the pro give us the project bro what is the problem <laughs> what when is it co- what is going on the project is coming soon very soon now you know i've <laughs> Soon is not a date, sir. <laughs> yeah, we're pushing singles. We're pushing you sound singles like you sound like Rihanna right now. Right about now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I really feel like her. Rihanna's Rihanna's baby is going to come before her next project, <laughs> and before my next project. Okay. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So what 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 are you doing? What what's I, I know you're stirring it up. I know you're experimenting. You say you're trying to combine some of your your background into that. But what is the what is the uh, missing part of your Donda? I see how I did that because you know how it took him forever to get that first one out. <laughs> what is the missing link that you figure needs to go into the recipe that you're missing at this point? Mm, I feel like the most important thing right now is really making sure that I have pure consistency. Mm-hmm. You know, pure, pure consistency in all in all realms. You know. Um, even when I do release a project, you know, I want to make sure that all the songs are doing what they need to and like getting the recognition that they deserve as well. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, oftentimes artists will put out an album and people won't even listen to the whole thing. You know, they kind of just like go to the singles and, you know, like they're like hardcore listeners who will check out the full project. But it's like, you know, if I really want people to pay attention right now to really what I'm saying, and I feel like right now my era right now that I'm going into is the most important one because it's the most personal. Like, even though everything has been personal, it's like I'm taking this personal aspect to a different level. So for me to really get people to pay attention, uh, I really feel like putting out all the singles back to back is really going to be the thing to make people appreciate it. And yeah. Okay. Well, you put it, you're putting in the work and I'm, and you know, I, I've been doing this a long time. I know I look really young. Thank you for saying so. Uh, (laughs) um, But I've been doing this a really, really long time. And I am really, really specific about what goes in my ear and what goes on the air Mm -hmm. and everything. And I'm not just blowing you up. Everything that I have heard 
single wise has been really great. You can hear the production. You. you can hear the pen Thank is you. is really serious. Now, there's a lot of people out there, and I'm not gonna say no names, but you know who they are. Y'all know who they are. That 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 want to do what you're doing, and, and other people are, who are on your level, like Ferrillo Star, Hemingway, Saucy Santana, and the list goes on and on and on. Bugs Gutter. I don't want to name. I left some names out. I can't say all of y'all, but you guys are precision with the pen. Burgo Husky, that's my baby. He gonna get me if I don't say his name. Um, but nonetheless, uh, you know who are precise with their pens. And what do you say to those people who want to do it, but they're just not ready? What What would you be your advice? Because I know you heard him. What, what do you What would you say to that person? Hmm. Well just not ready i feel like that's kind of subjective as well because mm. is anybody ever really ready mm. i never really feel like i'm ready i just be making sure that i'm doing my best and putting my best forward so i guess i could really say you know to the people who feel like they may not be ready like you're actually more ready than you think because if i can do it then y'all can do it too that's well the reason why I do music. when you did your first single because i'm gonna flip it i ain't gonna let the question go uh, um when did you think after you did that first single and you put it through the press and you put it through the the uh, production and you put your pen to paper and it came out on the other end, what was the point you say? Oh, I got this. Let me do this. Let me let me get this to the people. That started like when I was like five years old. Okay, <laughs> oh, well, I, I'm ready for the story. I'm ready for the journey. Tell us about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I've always known that I wanted to do it. It kind of was just like a matter of how and like you know really really taking myself seriously like even taking myself seriously didn't start until i really did my first project car for the moon mm -hmm. that's that's when i really started taking myself more seriously because i was in groups before then me and for real star were in a group for like a little bit oh, oh, oh did he, he didn't tell you he that did, he did tell me he was <laughs> he a member did. of a group yeah he did not say who was <laughs> in the group so now the story. I, I was one of them. Okay. I, I was one of them. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was so who was Beyonce? You were him. I'm just asking. I was cracking <laughs> up. You know, we never we never focused on that. You know, we really? always just wanted to. Oh, my phone fell. We always just wanted to focus on music. You know, okay. like we always whenever we did the group, like we always were like, we don't want anybody to mm -hmm. be like the lead person or anything like that. We just want to sing do the music dance um you know it's really k-pop inspired yeah we we all enjoyed k-pop so mm -hmm. it was like you know like we can we were like we can we can do this we can do this so yeah we started doing that and there was no beyonce kelly like nothing like yeah okay all like right that. so no so no ego all for yeah. you live it your way let me see you go nice. do what you like from Eli Liberty with Idol right here on the We Are You Morning Crew. I am George Diggle. Good morning to you, you, and especially you. 31 minutes 
well, 29 minutes till the top of the hour. How about that? If you got to be there at the top of the hour, get a move on. Thank you so very much. If you're watching us on our YouTube page, please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, follow. Some great things are happening. Come springtime, a giveaway that you do not want to miss, but I ain't going to give it away, but it'll be soon. That's the popular date around here at the We Are You Morning Crew this morning. Soon. Soon and very soon. Uh, yeah, yeah, see. See how I do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the studio with me is the one and only Eli Liberty. We just heard your song, Idol. It's in our slow motion uh, uh, rotation show, our slow motion show, which is our slow jam show at night. You know, we get like this, you know, we talk like this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so what were you thinking when you wrote Idol? Like, I need to ask. <sighs> God, this is my first time ever talking about Idol. People usually never ask me about idols. Well, I'm crazy. not that guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Oh, shit. Okay, so... Ah, uh, man. Okay, so it was dealing with the person who I consider Panda Bay, essentially. Because I kept feeling like I was, like... I kept feeling like I was, like, just... fighting for something that... How do I explain this? Okay, so essentially, me feeling like I was standing in one place with one person while they're telling me, like, it's something entirely different, kind of. Because it's like, okay. Okay, so let me just stop being cryptic. So basically, exactly. I <laughs> so basically, I was, in this situ I was in a situation, the very short version of the very long story is I was dealing with somebody mm -hmm. for a while, for mm -hmm. a long while. And it felt like it was very serious because they said that they were very, very serious. Mm -hmm. But for me to say, um, but basically I found out that I was the side dude to a five year relationship. That's that's the wow. short, that's the short version. Five now, years, that's a long time. That ain't yeah. short. Jesus. No, I mean, that's the short. No, I got, I got you. Yeah. I get you. Get you. I was just trying to do a play on words. Now, yeah. OK, first. Now we about to get in your business. Instagram live. Y'all listen to this right here. <laughs> OK, so what was the boom uh, epiphany that happened that said, wait a minute, mother. <laughs> what was it? I mean, you could be cryptic as you need to be, but we need to know. You can't just drop that and just tell us. Come I'm on. cracking up. OK, so. Really, what had happened was, um, okay, so wait, back to Idol, back to Idol real quick. So basically, with them saying that they were like really being like trying to like be serious and everything uh -huh. like that, I didn't feel like that's really what the case was because like the communication started to like die down and mm -hmm. like it was just really weird. Like it was really weird because like if you're like saying you're serious about mm -hmm. us and it's like, you know, why do I feel like I have to like pull everything? Like you're right. the one that came to me about a whole bunch of whole bunch of different things. So yeah. Then what it I well, I read I wrote Idol, of mm -hmm. course. And then it finally got to the point where it was just like, you know, like it's just nothing but quiet, like radio silence basically. Mm -hmm. So me being the Pisces that I am mm -hmm. and having all of my intuitions mm -hmm. that I have, mm -hmm. I was like, let me just go and see what this man is doing Ooh. so i went to his house it was real late mm. it was real late i went to his house it was a drive-by ladies and gentlemen <laughs> paint the picture i'm cracking up i went to his house so did you have on all black did you jump out a tree were you standing nah, by the <laughs> like... <laughs> no because like we used like we used to be together like basically every day uh -huh. but it's like i don't know like it's like it went from us being together every day to us being together like twice a week to us like wow. not even like texting or like uh like whenever it would be like a phone call or something like that it always be like like uh let me hurry up and call you back or like you know like stuff like that so it was like it was weird i know this person sit like since high school so it's like it's also that long term that yeah yeah too. yeah gotcha so yeah eventually the last wow. thing was I went to the house and I saw a car in the driveway. He ain't had no car. So I was like, well, this ain't his car. So I'm just like, okay, what's going on? Then I saw him get out of the car and I'm just like, yo, like, who is this? So I get out of the car and I'm like, hey, 
who is this? And then the guy looks at me and he's like, why is he here? And I'm just like, you know who I am? So I was just like, it was, it was a lot. So dude. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't like. Now, you see, <laughs> now, listening to the story and then hearing Idol, oh, you were way low down on that, on that. Because I would have been yeah. like, you MF and liar. Yeah. Why you had me sitting here, <laughs> Idol. <laughs> but see, I wrote that before I even knew wow. what was going on. Wow. But like, it's, um. What's a song? So, yeah, I haven't written. I don't think I've written an angry song towards him yet. Yet. But He Cried Pink, Neptune, and Venus is mainly about, about those relationships. Him. Yeah, and, like, and I, I was going to get to like, that. we, like, started from the beginning and, like, to where we ended, where, you know, that's why Idol really starts it off, because that's when I realized, like, okay, like, this is... I don't know what this is. And mm-hmm. then like by the end, that's when I'm like, okay, by that time I figured out like what was going on. And that's how like Just Fine came and like stuff like that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now if you listen to the two albums before, go back and listen after you've heard the story because this is going to sound totally different now yeah. that you know. And that's my first time actually explaining like the story behind because you have a great interviewer to ask the right questions. Amazing, but, <laughs> amazing, amazing. <laughs> but yeah, so so now that we listen to these songs, it's going to have a totally different meaning. Now, I want to talk about your new campaign for anti-bullying. Mm. And there's a certain bully that's been, well, a certain hip-hop artist that has been labeled a bully mm. and has been suspended from Instagram, Uh-oh. formerly known as Kanye. <laughs> Wait, he's suspended from Instagram right now? Oh, yes, 24 hours. Oh, oh yes. They said, yay, you were suspended from the IG totally for 24 seven. I don't I don't know. I don't know. 24, 24 hours, should I say. So now that we're, you know, looking at that type of thing and and others, uh, Kiki Wyatt, who just revealed that her baby has a birth defect Mm. and she uh, it was a viral. It was a, a video where she was talking to her audience and telling them what was happening. And people just started beating up on her about her baby, about her having too many children. And the list goes on and on using that situation Mm -hmm. and bullying her. Tell me about how that plays into the campaign that you're doing with your anti-bullying. Man. Yeah. It really just bleeds right into it because bullying has so many different aspects to it. You know, like you have people who are bullied just because of who they are. You have people who are bullied because of how they act. You have people who bully others because of how they act. Like, so overall, I really just want to be against bullying as a whole. Cause you really never know what somebody yeah. is going through. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you know, like even with, I mean, yeah. Cause like, you really never know what anybody's going through. So it's like, I really just want to, if I could abolish bullying, then that would be the thing that I would do. But I know that that's not going to happen yeah. because of the way that people just are in general. Mm-hmm. But, you know, overall, even just trying to get people to just be a little bit nicer to each other, like even like through social media and Twitter, like people just say so much. And, you know, people always want people to like be themselves, but it's always like a be yourself but don't do it this way because that's not cool and it's like well why can't you know so yeah all of that those are all things that i really want to cover with my anti-bullying campaign now was it something personal that that you know gave you the the push to do it that Mm -hmm. you know uh, can you tell us about that or yeah i was i was bullied like all the way through i would say like sophomore sophomore year of high school from first grade so yeah it's it's all from firsthand experience but i didn't really have anybody to stand up for me i didn't really have um you know anybody to really talk to about it um yeah so me wanting to make sure that other people don't feel how i felt or even don't feel alone like i felt you know, those are all things that I definitely want to give to other people um, through my music and through this campaign. Now, is there a part, is there a way that people can be a part of it? Is there a website or, uh, you know, some group that they follow so that they can be a part of your campaign? Uh, right now, we're actually mm-hmm. building relationships with 
different entities. Uh, it's something that we're working on right now. Uh, right now, we do just have the shirt, the anti-bullying shirt on my merch website, elalip.com slash merch. But, <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're going to start working with different entities that cover anti-bullying and mental health awareness and other things like that, um, suicide prevention, all those type of things. Yeah, because it's, it's so important, and it's something that we don't talk about enough in our communities. We don't. Um, it's always avoided. Always avoided. And, you know, we, you were talking earlier about people wanting you to be honest and, mm -hmm. and real on your social media. But one of the things that people don't like hearing about is when you're dealing with issues or dealing, yeah. you know, some problems. And like, oh, you need to just get off it, you know, stop yeah. all that. Yeah. Something people used to always tell me, they used to... <laughs> Oh, God, this is going to sound horrible. But, like, even... Oh God, do I want to say this? I'm not going to say this. But people used to say to me, like, you don't have nothing to be sad about. Yeah. Or, like, like stuff along those lines. Yeah. And I used to be like, okay, like, stuff that's not said to you doesn't mean that it affects me the same way. Exactly. You know, like, we don't all feel the same. We haven't been through the same things. Um... Yeah, so it's like, you know, people just don't understand. And that's okay, but it's like, you know, it has to be a little bit of more, it has to be a little bit more effort towards understanding, Yeah, especially now. Definitely. So now you are trying to be a triple threat. Mm -hmm. You're a writer, producer, choreographer. Well, that's more than three already. <laughs> and now you're adding to your curriculum vitae. You can use that later on. Um, like that. Acting. And there's a new show that's coming out. And I, I, somebody's going to have to hit me on how to subscribe to Watch All Black because I've been seeing it. I've been seeing it. I'm like, well, I'm clearly missing some good quality television. Mm -hmm. But there's a new show that you're going to be on. Tell us about it, the name of it and, and, and what you're doing. Yes. Uh, it's online dating for men. And it's on WatchACTV.com. And um, I'm playing Dennis. He is an interesting character. Uh, he's kind of nuts. And yeah, I don't want to give away too much. Well, give but. us a, give us enough. Now there is a trailer out there, ladies and gentlemen. You, it can, is. Uh, you can watch it. But um, so did you audition? Did they write the role with with that story from Neptune <laughs> in mind, or how did you how did you fall into it? Uh, so I actually used to work with Wes at Signal Twenty Three TV. Cause I was an actor there as well. Okay. Um, so he was an editor for Henderson. Mm -hmm. um, he's the owner of Signal Twenty Three. And yeah, he remembered me from my work previously uh, on those shows and in those movies. And he was like, I have the perfect role. You know, he actually came to me with a couple of different roles that I can't really say too much on. But we have some things that I'm really excited about that we're going to start filming, too. But yeah, he was like, you know, like I, I got a role for you. I feel like you would kill it. And I was like, OK, I'm down. Okay. So I didn't audition, but he was just like. That's what's up. That's, I know that you can do it. That's like, what's up. That is that is the best the best testament to your your talent when they like, oh, we got this. Uh you, you got this. Go on ahead. Blessing, Just show blessing. up. Just show up. <laughs> so um when does the show actually start airing or has it already started? So it's out now. It came out yesterday. Okay. Uh, it's on the platform directly. It's the watch ACTV app. And it's watch watch ACTV app, and we just go online, just download on our phones. How we get in? Yep, you can go 